So I'm going to show you how to do Imperial Sanctum on hard mode using just heroes and a couple henchmen. So I'm just using Dagger Spam as a Paragon and just running BIP and then run the E-Surge Illusion build and you just replace Shatter Hex with Empathy. And then I just have an SOS. And then the most important part is to basically take your ST Ritual, the Soul Twisting and... Put in Wanderlust, Earthbind, and Shadow Song. And then we're going to just add in the two Warrior Henchmen. And that's all we need. Enter into the mission. And we're going to just go in it. If you want to get the Celestial skill, you can. It's completely optional. Otherwise, just keep going. And uh, notice like on my skill bar that I have Brawling Headbutt. Uh, that's pretty important because with Earthbond you're able to actually knock down Shiro. So it's pretty good to bring in something like that so you can just keep knocking him down. Even though Wanderlust does pretty well at it. And uh, like for the most part the two Warrior Henchmen are optional. I just think that they're good and they do a lot of damage so I usually bring them. Usually when we get to this part I go ahead and cast... The Shelter, Displacement, and Earthbind. Uh, I accidentally did the Shadow Song. Just don't do that. That's, that's just a mistake. Now I just go here. And I flag Master Whispers back. And I flag the two Mesmers forward. Put all the other heroes in the middle. And you can also cast the Spirits if you want to. Then you just lure him in. And uh, with me, I actually kept him like all the way up here, but it's a little bit better to bring him back more. So that way it'll be easier for you to actually take out the the bound warriors, which will give you a moral boost, and that would recharge the celestial skill if you actually have it. So it's usually better to do it that way. But otherwise, as you can see. We're just constantly knocking them down, which makes them easy to beat. And uh, this doesn't really take very long. I believe you have to do it in under three minutes in order to get the the pretty much the in order to get the full reward for the upcoming Z mission. In order to get masters, masters also in the mission and hard mode. And there we go, it's over. All it does take a couple minutes. Took two minutes and 15 seconds. So dagger spam is pretty good at this, but it's only optional. And that's pretty much how you do the quest. It's pretty easy to do. Just those heroes with a couple henchmen. Now I'm going to show it to you on a necromancer. So this time I'm going to bring in you move like a dwarf. And I'm using pretty much the same hero build except for I'm also throwing in the epitude with fallback. And uh, by the way, you should be able to actually do it without having the SOS ritualist. And you could just put SOS on another hero if you really want to. But otherwise, pretty much the same builds. Aside from the ineptitude. And once again, you move like a dwarf is a really good skill to bring in here. Or at least I like to bring it for additional knockdown. Just go in here. I'm going to get the celestial skill. And we're pretty much going to just do the same thing as last time. Except for this time, I'm going to have the enemies closer. So that way we can just kill them all like in a group. And like whenever he turns them into the bound warriors or whatever. And that will recharge the celestial skill. But since I'm running Necromancer, it doesn't really matter. But if you were running like a warrior or something, that would actually matter a bit. So just the same thing, cast the three spells, the three spirits, flag the heroes. And 
And uh, as you can tell, it's pretty easy. And the moral boost that you get is pretty strong, which is why it's better to kind of keep them closer like what I did this time as opposed to when I was playing the Paragon. And yeah, you know, it's like it's not going to take long at all. And it just shows you like how easy it could be because I've seen other people who have actually struggled to do this right here with their characters. Like they, they like need help in here. They need someone to like run it for them. And especially since the game is like smaller now, I think that it's nice to actually be able to do this yourself using just like heroes and a couple henchmen. And it just shows you how easy it is to do. I mean, if you have like the basic seven hero bip skills, then you can pretty much do this. And I'll leave a link of all the builds in the description. And as you can tell, I don't really have my heroes super ruined up or with the best weapons or anything. So like it's like it's pretty much basic and this is relatively easy to do. And like it's really the main thing that you need is the Earthbind Wanderlust hero like that right there just does a lot of work it just keeps him knocked down constantly and you also get to blind him and then you also get the displacement in the shelter like it, it's just good but otherwise you do this you get 150 copper and if you save it for double week you'll get 300 copper mm -hmm. 